these movies are out of this world. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mars movies. For this list, we're considering movies that either take place on Mars or where Mars or Martians are important to the plot. Man, Mars needs Botox. And we're looking at how they use the planet in their stories, rather than how critically or commercially successful the film might be as a whole. So grab your spacesuits and let's take off. Does this light off? Only when radar waves are bouncing off our ship. Then we put up this radar screen, then nobody can find us in space. Number 10, Mars Needs Moms. The fact is, Mars needs moms. In this kid-friendly flick, nine-year-old Milo wishes that he never had a mother. My life would be so much better if I didn't have a mom at all. His wish comes true when Martians coincidentally capture her. So Milo travels to Mars with a few quirky sidekicks to save her. We've got to save her! Well, that's impossible, so like, get over it and like, move on. But we've got to try! Although the film drew some criticism for its lack of originality, its realistic 3D motion capture and acting performances have been well received. This is so cool! Interestingly, Mars Needs Moms has more Martian heritage than meets the eye. The film's director, Simon Wells, is actually the great-grandson of H.G. Wells, author of the Martian invasion novel, The War of the Worlds. Your hippie alien life story is totally interesting, but I'm kind of busy saving my mom. Number 9. Ghosts of Mars Let's just kick some ass. It's what we do best. Released during a Mars-related film renaissance at the turn of the millennium, John Carpenter's Ghosts of Mars manages to combine the director's signature horror style with science fiction. Filled with great action and fighting scenes, the film follows a police officer who arrives in a small mining town on Mars for a routine prisoner transport. But upon arrival, she discovers the miners have unleashed an ancient evil. Look, even if we get back to Crisey, those things will just keep coming. As the name suggests, spirits from long-dead Martians return to possess and kill humans, whom they believe to be evil invaders. As far as they're concerned, we are the invaders. Despite its lack of critical and commercial success, the flick still has that John Carpenter appeal, which is what lands it here. Number 8. Doom we finally done here because I've got a job to do. Doom, which features action stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Carl Urban, is an adaptation of the video game series that helped establish the first-person shooter genre. Part of the action sci-fi movie's success can be attributed to the fact that it's been able to recreate the feelings of horror and violence that make the games so popular even having a sequence that replicates the first-person shooter perspective. It also has many of the staples often found in other Mars-related movies, such as space marines, malfunction facilities, and, of course, lots of secrets. Are you gonna shoot me? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Number 7. Watchmen TV said you were on Mars. I am on Mars. Although Mars does not appear until late into the film, it becomes one of this superhero movie's most significant locations. Oh my god, I'm on Mars. When Dr. Manhattan tires of life on Earth, he travels to the barren planet to be alone. Once there, he builds an impressive glass clock-like structure out of the Martian rock, as seen in one of Watchmen's coolest sequences. Eventually, Manhattan brings the only person he still feels a connection with to his place of solitude. Their discussions directly influence the conclusion of the crime action drama, while also summarizing its themes and overall message. On Mars, you taught me the value of life. If we hope to preserve it here, we must remain silent. Number 6. The War of the Worlds Mars is more than 140 million miles from the sun, and for centuries it has been in the last stages of exhaustion. One of the most iconic films from the alien invasion craze of the 50s, The War of the Worlds, chronicles invaders from Mars crash landing and terrorizing Southern California. If it's men from Mars, we ought to let them know we're friendly. 
Don't fool around with something when you don't know what it is. The film stands out because of its compelling story based on H.G. Wells' novel, along with its unique and impressive sound and visuals. Get under cover! The science fiction flick avoided using typical flying saucers of the time and instead portrayed the alien vehicles as invulnerable tripods. Is that some kind of a flying machine? No, no. It's supported from the ground by rays, probably some form of magnetic flux like invisible legs. Thanks to its creative and compelling story, it also became a financial and critical success and earned an Oscar for special effects. <laughs> Number 5. Red Planet It's weird. There's nothing here. It's Mars. This sci-fi thriller takes place in the not-too-distant future and follows a crew of scientists as they investigate problems plaguing a Martian terraforming project. Terraforming didn't even come close to creating breathable air up here, right? Once on Mars, the team is faced with strange circumstances and life-threatening situations. I'm gonna die on this planet. Reminiscent of many of the Mars films of the past, Red Planet is filled with things like pseudoscience, an outer space storm, and a robotic sidekick. Hey, Amy. I thought you were dead. Hey, sweetie. Good to see you. Like those films, the plot revolves around the scientists piecing together the clues to solve a bizarre mystery. But as a larger whole, the movie demonstrates how scary science can be. This planet. Number four. John Carter. John Carter of Mars. Sounds much better. Pixar director Andrew Stanton makes his live action debut with this underrated sci fi epic. Mars. I'm on Mars. Unlike many of the other films on this list, John Carter foregoes any notions of scientific accuracy and instead stays true to its century old pulp fiction source material. Princess of Mars. How about that? The adventure movie gives audiences amazing special effects, impressive action sequences, and a complex storyline involving warring Martians and all-powerful manipulators. In addition to its stunning visuals, the film successfully manages to blend a number of genres, including science fiction, action-adventure, western, and fantasy and found particular success in Europe and Asia. We ride for some danger! Number three, Mission to Mars. This whatever it was, this, this force. You said it came directly out of the top of the mountain. Despite sharing its title with a Disneyland ride, Mission to Mars is less about action and thrills than it is about exploration, mystery, and the universe. I'll see you when I get to Mars. Listen, don't solve all the mysteries of the universe, all right? Leave a little something for the next guy. I'm not promising anything. You just bring some expensive beer. <laughs> all right. The film touches on many common science fiction themes, including isolation and our search for where we came from. Is anyone there? Over. Director Brian De Palma populates the movie with a memorable cast of characters, played by the likes of Gary Sinise and Don Cheadle, while providing hauntingly beautiful visuals of space travel and the Martian landscape. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. It's Mars. Number 2. Mars Attacks Die, you alien shit! This Tim Burton-directed flick brings together an impressive cast, including Jack Nicholson, Natalie Portman, and Pierce Brosnan, to name only a few, in a mid-90s movie that parodies the campy alien invasion films from the 50s. It's a full-scale invasion. Mr. President, we're going to need to get you to safety. Filled with over-the-top violence and classic Burton shtick, Earth and Mars. Mars Attacks has both poignant political commentary and cheesy-looking aliens. It was also nominated for several Saturn Awards and features a climactic battle between humans and Martians. There is no way that we can lose. <laughs> 
Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. You gotta face the reality of being alone forever. Watch out, the ball is opening! But Santa Claus, you will never return to Earth. Three. Now you belong to Mars. Ho, ho, ho. Now, Kasei Seif was going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Number one, Total Recall. Welcome to Mars, man. Without a doubt, this is the definitive Mars movie. You're dreaming. Doug, is it about Mars? Like many of Paul Verhoeven's films, on the surface, Total Recall seems to be just another sci fi flick filled with violence and nudity. But underneath, the movie has a number of underlying philosophical themes. Okay, then. If I'm not me, who the hell am I? It's me. It follows a man whose disturbing dreams about Mars compel him to undergo a memory implant procedure, and eventually he lands on the Red Planet. But what makes the action movie so great is how it gives us multiple hints throughout that what is taking place may not be real. Swallow this. What is it? It's a symbol of your desire to return to reality. The course of events consistently causes the lead character, as well as the audience, to question if anything that has happened is true or merely a delusion. Ah, I get it. I'm dreaming. And all this is part of the delightful vacation your company has sold me. Right? Not exactly. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Martian movie? Hake, hake, nya, nya. For more stellar top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Earth hasn't reacted yet. No radar beams being bounced off our ship. Looks like we made a clean getaway.